Greetings Space Engineers and this is Commander Chewbacca and welcome back and we have a very short episode, episode 4 today. We've had a request where someone has had a problem and just let me know about it where they've done what we've done here. They've taken this temporary status off their ship but they cannot reuse their ship. So what we're going to do now is just have a very quick video on what we need to do once we have developed this platform here. If you would like to reuse this ship, how would you do that? So what we're going to do first of all is we're going to go into the ship and we're going to turn on the engines because if we do anything that we need to do without turning on the engine, the ship is going to fall and be damaged. So we hit I for India and then go to your control panel and type in thrusters and you'll see we've got these groups we made previously and click on thrusters and click on and you hear the thrusters turning on and we hit X there and we hit V for Victor and we look on the outside and we can see the turbines all spinning yeah we're good so these thrusters are now up and running and also you can see a little bit of the flare from each of the thrusters there so that tells us we're good and so if we then break free the ship it's not just going to fall and get damaged so we hit v for victor and then f for fred and we're back out now what we're going to do from this point here is before we do anything else make sure you go to your cargo container and anything you may have in the inventory make sure you, you have enough so just get rid of anything in the inventory except for the critical stuff this is what i see is critical and then come back here and we're going to go and we're actually going to start dismantling this particular merge block right here. Um, you could do that one, but I recommend this one. And so what we're going to do is we're going to break it down to just below the blue line. If you look on the right hand side, you'll see a blue line. So we're going to take our grinder and we're going to start grinding away to us under the blue line. And when it's under the blue line, this ship should start floating away. So we're going to grind it down. There we go. So now the ship's moving. We can come back in. And it should be as simple as that. So what we'll do now is we'll literally go to our flight seat. Hit F for Fred. Hit V for Victor if you need to. And we just back up. We can take off. We can land. We can do whatever we need to do. And if we're ready, we can go V for Victor again. Oops. Line her up. F for Fred. Go back to your welding iron. And we can rebuild this if we need to. There we go. So now we have a merge block back. And so in what we're going to do in this case is I'm going to continue on with this game and for these tutorials. So I'm going to relink back this little ship here. So we just go see. Remember, we want to make sure your landing gear is off, which it is. If you hear any noises in the background, that's just my natives. They're having a good old time just causing a ruckus, and I don't really have much control over that. They're normally pretty good, but for some reason they have a whole bunch of energy. Oops. So here we go. And we're just going to link it in. And we're back in system here. So we just hit I for India and control panel. And we can just turn our thrusters off. Now the alternate thing you could do, instead of doing a merge block every single time you're coming back and you want to merge your ship and you want to share power, you could, instead of using a merge block, set up a connector here and a connector there. We'll go through that later on. And by using connectors, that still allows you to transfer materials from your station to your ship, but does not convert your ship into a station. We initially did that the first time to remove the temporary status. And also by doing it with a connector obviously that means it's also able to share power so you can mine from here and have it set directly up and into the refinery if you wanted to keep this ship and some people do there's nothing wrong with that um, also when you destroy your batteries when you if you decide to break this ship down you will not receive um, any battery components from the batteries that would just turn up a scrap metal so that's something else to be aware of. And so there may be benefits to you keeping the ship intact. 
But anyway, that's a very quick and simple video on how to return the ship back to being a ship so you can fly it again. If you have any questions, please let me know. I hope this helps you out. And um, I look forward to hearing any comments. And if you found this useful, hit the like and subscribe for me. Well, this is Commander Chewbacca, signing out.